we still have Seth with us on the co on the set, and we want to talk about the bank slalom race coming up. March 11th and 12th. Okay. Yep. Uh, and you said you just came back from doing the Washington Well, one. yeah, I just came back from the Baker one, which is what inspired me to get this one going here. Um, you know, the, the Baker race was started in 85. They were saying this is the 31st annual, which I know the math doesn't add up, but there was a couple years with no snow out there. So it's, uh, it's the 31st time they've run it. But yeah, I mean, we're already at year seven for ours. And, uh, you know, for me, it's just been awesome to bring something like that that really, to me, feels like something that's the soul of snowboarding. It's a gathering, a multi-generational gathering of people getting together to just have fun. And yes, there is a clock running and yes, someone wins at the end of the day. But at the same time, it's really more about the experience that, that everyone has out there in the course. And, you know, the two years ago, um, when I was coming, I came straight from Nepal um, back to the race, it landed at Portland at like nine in the morning and drove up with no inspection and went and did it. And that year for me was kind of really a special one because I saw how much of a life of its own the event had taken on. I mean, typically it's been in the early years, Josh Lempert and now Joe Hines that I'd get together and spend five or six days in the cat with. and. And to come home that year um, and everything was up and running um, was really kind of an amazing thing. And just so awesome to see, you know, how our events department, um, how the competition center, how everyone comes together um, and pitches in. And, and it really has become the premier snowboarding event on the East Coast, which is cool. I, when I was in Baker last weekend, I, I met a bunch of guys that run um, some snowboard websites from up in Quebec. And they were they said, you know, we've gone to the Vermont Open for all these years and their course gets smaller and smaller. And they're like, we've seen the pictures of what you guys do there. And so, you know, the fact that we get to utilize the resources that we have and this year with all the snow that we do have, we're going to be able to make a phenomenal course. And so I'd, I'd get online and get signed up. And uh, So is it going to be down sidewinder and then a down, bit above? Um, I, yeah, I'm hoping that we can use lower comp again this year because be we have all the natural cool. snow because yeah. it's the years that we've gotten that natural part built up there, yeah. it's really fun. And it, it makes it a little more spectator friendly that people can totally. sit at the Gene Luce building and look uphill and see people coming at them. Because um, otherwise, you know, the people that are on the lift are the only ones that really get a right. good view as they're coming up the quad. Right. But Tim's just yeah. put on some footage from previous years. Yeah. So does this court, does this race count for anything for any of the participants? Well, it, no, I mean, it's, and that's it's a kind fun of, thing. It, it's a thing purely for fun. And, and that's part of the joy of it, it right? It is, absolutely. It's you know, it's a gathering of the snowboard community in New England, and and uh, there are two spots to the Mount Baker Bank Slalom that they give us, so people right. can qualify in to, to go out to Washington for next year to, to race. But it's uh, it's really just it's fun to spend the week putting this thing together and then see how much fun everyone has. And then we have an amazing course that we get to keep up for the rest of the spring and so you're racing and give the clock. everyone a little test in it. Yeah, you're racing the clock. Yep. But they build the course specifically for this event. Yeah, exactly. It, the, the, well, the, the thing at Baker... That's, that's why you're saying thanks to Joe Hines and those guys. Yeah, because absolutely, because it's countless you hours. you got to do it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, he and I sit in there and we're meticulous about every single turn, and it's a lot of hours over the week. I mean, I it's usually a week, probably the least sleep I ever have of the year. Out of you're staying week. up and, every night with groomers. Yeah, you're up <laughs> with the groomers every night, and then, you know, by the time you get it done, everyone shows up on Friday night to register and the registration party, and you ride for the two days and then do awards, and it's, I'm always, that Sunday afternoon is as tired as I ever am in the year, but. Right. But it's a fun tired, It's right? a fun tired, and it's it's just awesome to see everyone come out and, and have a blast with it. Well, so. on your home hill, too, that adds a little bit of juice to it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, and it's, you know, it's fun for me to, you know, try to be the pace setter. I haven't won every year. My good friend Ross Powers, who's the O2 no. Olympic gold medalist in half pipe, he comes up and blows and we, it for you every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, no, but it's it's awesome and it's. <laughs> Doesn't uh, he know that's rude to beat the local guy? No, no, it's all it's all good and it's uh, it's just fun to be able to put something like this together and and just see, you know, the tradition that it's become for so many people um, that you know, I've got. But you, friends that base their their winter around coming on this weekend. So you don't have to be a professional snowboarder. No, be absolutely in it. not. And Can anybody who's a snowboarder? Yeah, be absolutely. Yep. And that's that was really you know what I saw at Baker over the years. We're you know seeing nowadays it's even down to like four and five year olds at Baker. Some of the second generation snowboard families from a lot of the pros up in Canada and. Uh, 
all the way up to guys in their late 60s and early 70s in the, the Cummins family. And so it's yeah, it's really cool. cool to bring something like that that is multi-generational and that we get to uh, get to just Any share the love of the sport. Any little kid would think that course was a blast. Oh yeah, they? absolutely, yeah. yep. No, and sometimes, you know, um, like Emma Downing and, and her little brother, I mean, sometimes you see the angles that the little kids take and it's like gravity doesn't affect them the no. same way it does when you're 200 pounds. So it's amazing. <laughs> they can actually get into these canned positions that, you know, it's just beautiful yeah. to watch. And yeah. it's so cool to, to see people from all generations of snowboarding enjoying it. Yeah. So that is something to put out there that in three weeks, if you're a yep. snowboarder, absolutely. come up and give it a go. You should be here. Because the yep. course would be absolutely awesome oh, this yeah. year. No, we're, we're going to have, we've got so much material to work with and it's going right. to be great. How much is it to register? I don't know the details of that. Not much. Um, but yeah, it's not much. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. worth it. So Wor Worth um, the fun of it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. So what else is going on for the rest of your winter? Uh, I believe I'm back off to Europe on Monday for to go chase one more World Cup. And then uh, we've got come home for the bank slalom. And um, then I've got about 25 days shooting in Alaska with Warren Miller in April. We're doing cool. kind of splitting it up, going to a new range, which I'm excited about. We're going to the Tordrillos for the first 10 days to shoot heli stuff and kind of get the majority of the riding segment done. And then we're going up to this amazing hut, the Sheldon hut, um, which was built by a early World War II aviation pioneer. And uh, he, it's still owned by his family. It's up in the Ruth Amphitheater near Denali. And uh, so we're gonna do 10 days of touring out of that hut. So it's kind of, it's a two part trip, but Wow. Basically, when I get done with the bank slalom, I got to start hiking uphill every day on my split board and yeah. uh, getting get my legs ready. For What's the, the elevation up there? I don't even know yet, but it's uh, you know it's gonna and it's just yeah, ten straight days of climbing mountains yeah. is yeah. Um, it's gonna be a toll, cow. and my legs are gonna be kicked from the ten days of riding the heli. So oh I, I got some serious cardio to work on between now and. Now I hope the April. weather gods are with yeah, you. And yeah, and exactly right. that's yeah. always the thing. And but that's cool. why we've got such a long window to shoot, and, right. and it's always. You know, it's an honor and a pleasure to get to be a part of those movies and yeah. part of that history and timeline of skiing and snowboarding. And so Warren it's, Miller it's still fun. doing it all these decades later. Yeah, that's absolutely. awesome. Well, I hope that's going to be a fun time. You yeah. know what I've been wanting to ask you? Yep. Where is that shot taken in the L. Bean at? If you coming out of a stone hut? Uh, that one was in Nepal. That's uh, Annapurna Base Camp. Uh, um, no wonder I didn't recognize it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was from two years ago when we were hey. overshooting in the Himalayas. Hey. And, uh, I mean, that's, you know, for me, it's, it really is the dream, you know, like I, 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 I just saw, love that every time I see it, like, oh, yeah, oh yeah. you know, yeah. And no, and, awesome. and I, because of, where for me, and I more saw Greg Stumpski movies growing up, and I saw Warren Miller's, of course, as well, but it's, you know, I, Greg had this quote that ski movies are the accidental history books of the sport, and it's, you know, to me that you get to, you know, have a dream trip, so it's like, for me, I'm, every year I'm, you know, clicking off another thing on my, my hit list of where I want to go in the world and where I want to snowboard and to get to go and have that documented and then go through the movie tour um, process in the fall and be there for the premieres and, and get to experience that shared energy. Um, we've been talking about it a lot actually with some of the producers and stuff that it's a unique experience now for people to actually have a shared experience. And movies are one way that we can still do that. You know, like nowadays as we're getting more and more where we're processing everything on our own personal screen to get 500 people in a room and hear the collective gasps and awe, you know, oohs and ahs and, wow. and it's a different, um, to watch a ski movie that way at an actual premiere yeah, is a yeah, different experience than totally. processing it on your laptop or yeah, something. And yeah, so it's yeah. continuing to have that live tradition of witnessing skiing and snowboarding in the theaters is really means more and more to me as time goes on because our you know our society gets more and more digital and yeah. we're more in our own little bubbles and plugged in and so to be able to go out and create something from a trip like that and then get to share that experience with hundreds that has of people another at a life time of its own, it has a whole other it? life you know? of its own it's, yeah. it's really special that's cool that's an interesting way yeah. you just pointed that out that yeah so next time, when Warren Miller's yeah. movie come out, go to Portland or yeah, go, go to Yeah, go to Portland to or go to any... The collective yeah, audience, go to you know? one of the under... Any 140 <laughs> cities that'll go right. in next fall. But, but it is, it's an amazing tradition. You know, this is our 68th year of Warren Miller films. And it's, amazing. you know, yeah. from what he started in camping out of his, his car in the Sun Valley parking lot to have it be going all this time is a phenomenal tradition.
there's that many lovers who can never have too many ski movies. <laughs> yeah. It's like having too much snow. It's right. impossible. It's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> and when I say skiers, I, you know I mean snowboarders, oh, yeah, too. It's, we're I, in I the still collective say I'm world here. Every day, yeah. <laughs> now, you got something else exciting happening in your life this year. Yeah. You're going to be um, a dad. I'm going to be a dad. So congratulations, big yeah. time. I think yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. No, life is takes many wonderful twists and turns, and yeah. I'm a very happy man, and I'm very happy to that, that'll be starting the a new life. That'll put the I and the yeah. cross T on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Mission accomplished. So good Absolutely. luck with all of that. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back here before the end of the season. But oh, yeah. bank slalom? Yeah. Yeah, three I'm weeks. home all week Make this sure week, everybody... and then, yeah, we'll okay. be here for the bank slalom. We'll try slalom and get you back on for that. And, yeah. So uh, hopefully you'll have all kinds of your buddies and more show up for that weekend. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Well, good luck when you head to Europe this week. Thanks. Thanks. And uh, we'll report back in a few weeks. Okay. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely.